Hi, and welcome to another Sibelius 7 tutorial. Today I'll be taking you through some of the basics of the software. We'll be having a look at what's going on in the menu system, and we'll also be going over some of the basic commands to help you get started with generating notation. So let's talk about note input first. There are three different ways that we can input notes into the program. The first is with the mouse, the second is with the computer keyboard, and the third is with some sort of MIDI device. And what I've got here is just a USB MIDI device, and these will work perfectly with Sibelius 7. So for this tutorial, we will only be using the first method, and that's with the mouse. So let's start by adding a C major scale. We're going to use the keypad to do this. And if you look down in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, the keypad opens automatically when you start a new score. And I can move it around by clicking and dragging on it like that. So I want to add crotchets. So I'll click on the crotchet icon in the keypad. And now you can see that my cursor has turned blue. And if I mo move over to the stave here, I've got little ghost notes following my cursor around. This means that I'm in edit mode. So I'll just click on the beats that I want my notes to sound on. We can add our C major scale and crotchets. All right, let's say I misclick and I accidentally add a wrong note. All we need to do to fix this problem is while we are still in edit mode and while the note that we've just added is still blue, is use the arrow keys on the keyboard and we move it up or down and fix the mistake. So let's move it down. There we go. Right, so once you're finished adding your notes, I would suggest hitting the escape key a few times to make sure that nothing is selected. And as you can see, the cursor is no longer blue. The notes are no longer blue. And we are out of edit mode. Right, now let's add and delete some bars. There are two methods for doing this. We can either use a few keyboard shortcuts or we can click on the relevant icons in the menu. So let's add a bar at the end of the score by using the menu system. All I do is go to the Home tab here and click on the Add Bar button. All right, so that's this one here and click on it. And there we go. We've got a bar added at the end. The keyboard shortcut for this action is Control B if you're using Windows and Command B if you're using Mac. So let's do Command B. There we go, we've got another bar added at the end there. If, however, I want to add a bar at a specific place in the score, then I need to click on the preceding bar. So I'm going to add a bar after this bar. And you'll see that it's highlighted blue. And we go to the Add Bar drop-down menu, which is just underneath the Add button there and select Add Single Bar. And now we've got a single bar added at a specific place in the score. The keyboard shortcut for this action is Control shift b for Windows users and Command shift b for Mac users. So let's click on the bar, just like we did before, and use Command shift b to add a bar after it. And there we go, we've added another bar. Now on to adding and removing instruments. If we want to add or remove instruments from the score, we can do that by clicking on the Add or Remove Instruments button here. And we'll be directed to the Instrument Selection window. So let's add a cello to the score. And let's add a violin. And let's add an alto voice part. <clears throat> right, now you can see that they have arranged themselves in the window on the right hand side. But we've decided that we don't want the alto anymore. So we can remove it by selecting the part in the area on the right side of the screen. There we go, we've selected the alto part and clicking on the delete from score button. Right, let's save our selections by clicking OK. And we see that our score has some new instruments added. We've got a violin and we've got a cello. 
So we are able to copy and paste in Sibelius, just like in any word processing software that you've probably used. The keyboard shortcuts are the same, but here we can make a few different types of selections. Let's start with selecting whole bars. Um, all we need to do is to click somewhere in the bar that doesn't have a note or a rest in it. So let me just show you an example of that. I can select the note or I can select the bar. And the bar will turn blue and then I can copy and paste it wherever I like. So let's copy with the mouse and then paste with the mouse. There we go. We can also select individual notes and copy and paste them. So let's take the second half of our C major scale and select each individual note while holding either the command key for Mac users or the control key for um, Windows users. So I'm holding command, now I'm selecting each individual note. All right, now all I wanna do is copy with the keyboard. I could also right click and copy with the mouse. And let's select the bar we want them to go in and paste them in, very good. Let's add some text to this score. It's quite easy to do. Just right click anywhere outside of a bar and this drop down menu will appear. From here we can select the type of text we need to input. So let's add some tempo text. Text, tempo, and we'll put it at Andante. Uh, let's add some lyrics to our melody as well. So let's right click, text, lyrics, and we want to select line one. And right, there we go. Almost forgot my tonic sol there. And that's adding text. Um, something that is quite important to learn is how to show and hide panels. You might accidentally close the keypad like this and then spend 10 minutes trying to find how to open it again. Well, there's an icon here in the view menu. Let's go to view called panels. If we click on it, uh, we get a drop-down menu that lets us show and hide some of the tools available. And as you see, we have a listing for keypad. So let's click on that box, and we should have keypad back. There it is. Let's move on to playback. So the best thing about composing on Sibelius, as far as I'm concerned, is that you can listen back to your compositions as they're going along. Um, there are two methods of doing this. The first is to go to the play menu here and you'll see that we've got a set of familiar controls here and we can just click on play All right. The second method we can use is to go to the panels drop down menu again so we go to View, Panels, and uh, in this menu we'll see we have Transport. So we'll click on Transport, and then this movable window will appear. Uh, it's basically got the same controls as the Play menu, but we have this slider. And if I click and drag, you'll see the little green bar is moving in um, sync with this slider here. This is very useful when you've got large scores with lots of parts and multiple pages. That about does it for today. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more content in the future, and happy composing. See ya.